If you're a professional commodity trader, you are very aware that macroeconomic inputs and macro money flows have a huge impact on the markets that you trade. And one of the most important macro inputs is the US dollar. Now, why is that? Why does the US dollar matter so much for all commodity markets? In this video, we're gonna go through the five reasons that the dollar matters so much for commodity markets. We'll also touch on the two ways that you can incorporate a dollar view into your profitable commodity trading. So let's jump into it. Hi everyone, it's Dave Whitcomb from Peak Trading Research in Geneva, Switzerland. My goal is to make you a more profitable trader with commodity market insights and real systematic trading strategies. A big part of profitable commodity trading is knowing how to incorporate macroeconomic inputs into your trading game plan. The US dollar is one of the most important macroeconomic inputs to understand. Let's talk about the five reasons why that is. The first and one of the most important reasons why the dollar matters so much for commodity commodity markets is what we call the yardstick effect. Now, most commodity markets are US dollar denominated. So if the US dollar drops in value, prices of commodities rise just as a function of the unit of measurement shrinking. That is the yardstick shrinks. So if the value of the dollar drops, commodities are simply worth more dollars. The second reason that the dollar matters so much for commodity markets is because of macroeconomic trader flows. There are a lot of hedge funds that will use commodity futures as a way to express a macroeconomic view. These traders will often buy agriculture futures as a way to profit from the value of a falling US dollar. This is sometimes referred to as trading the US dollar in the wheat pit or the bean oil pit or the crude oil pit, using commodities as the instrument of choice to express a view on the US dollar. The third reason that the dollar matters so much for commodity markets is because of correlation flows. There are a lot of systems systematic and high frequency and statistical arbitrage hedge funds that see the value of the dollar dropping and act really quickly to buy commodity futures. Now, these traders act really quickly, often in just a matter of seconds to try and buy and sell commodities to front run other fundamental flows. Now, to keep it simple, all these hedge funds are all doing the same thing. If they think the value of the dollar is going to drop, they are buying commodity futures to expect a profit from a rise in prices. Now, the fourth reason that the US dollar matters so much for commodity markets is a fundamental reason. It's a fundamental demand response. Non-US importers, so countries and corporations outside of the US see a weak US dollar as an opportunity to buy cheaper US agriculture products. Now, one of the best examples of this is in Egypt, the government has set up a program called the General Authority for Supply Commodities, also known as GAS. Buyers at GASC are constantly looking around the world to see where they can source the lowest price wheat to bring home to feed the Egyptian population. So if the US dollar is weak versus currencies and origins like Russia or Australia or Canada or Europe, naturally GASC will buy more US dollar denominated wheat from the United States. The dollar goes down, US dollar denominated wheat goes up. Now the fifth and final reason that the US dollar matters so much for commodity markets is another fundamental reason. It's a fundamental supply response. For a good example of this, put yourself in the shoes of a Brazilian farmer or an Argentine farmer. If you see a weak US dollar and a strong Brazilian real and a strong Argentine peso, you know that if you sell your soybeans into the global market at a dollar price, you're not getting a whole lot translated back into your local currency. So if you see a weak US dollar, you're not gonna export your soybeans. You're gonna put them in silos or put them in bags, you're going to sit back and reduce your exports. You're going to reduce the amount of supply into the market. You're also probably not going to plant as much, right? You're not going to expand your acres if you see a weak US dollar and a weak global price for your soybeans. So in summary, a weaker US dollar means fewer South American exports and less South American acreage expansion, all of which leads to higher prices. So to summarize, those are the five reasons that the US dollar matters for commodity markets. That's the yardstick effect, macroeconomic trader flows, correlation trader flows, fundamental demand response, and fundamental supply response. So we've established that the US dollar matters for commodity markets for a lot of fundamental and non-fundamental reasons, but how can we make this actionable? 
reasonable, right? How can you take a US dollar view and trade it in your commodity market? The first way to do this is by understanding which currency markets are most important for the commodity market that you trade. And a lot of this has to do with looking at origins where the commodity is mined or grown and destinations where the commodity is imported. So if you're a soybean trader, you need to focus a whole lot on the Brazilian real or the Argentine peso where soybeans are grown. And you also need to focus on the Chinese renminbi because China is the world's largest soybean import. Now, every commodity market is unique, but all follow that supply and demand framework. So you should think about origin currencies and destination currencies. Now, another way that you can incorporate a dollar view directly into your trading is you can think about what kind of economic regime we're in. For example, is US data improving enough for the US Federal Reserve to start removing stimulus? As the US Federal Reserve starts tapering its quantitative easing purchases and eventually starts raising interest rates, that will strengthen the US dollar. We last saw this in 2014, the last time the Fed was tapering their QE purchases, the US dollar rose and commodity prices fell. So think about the currency pairs that matter most for your market. Is it the Australian dollar or the Brazilian real or the Chinese renminbi? Think about the economic regime we're in. Think about what central banks are doing, how data is performing, and how that might move the dollar over the months and quarters and years to come. So to wrap things up, if you're interested in live updates of the macroeconomic inputs that matter most for your commodity markets, you can reach out to us for a trial of our actionable agriculture research insight at peaktradingresearch.com. And as always, please hit the like and subscribe button below if you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for your time. We'll see you soon.